Hello hens, recently I done a video playing The Sims 4 daycare mod and I had an absolutely great time. That mod was exquisite, she was beautiful, she was stunning, she was everything I needed her to be in that moment actually. She was perfection. However, what was not perfection was the house that I chose to live in before that video. I'm going to give you a little tour. Right, it's in Windenburg, which uh, is a beautiful world, but I did, even before I loaded in that house, I said how I wasn't really a fan of the houses in Windenburg. They're a little bit hodgepodge, right? But this house, I thought, yeah, she's fair game. In that little corner, tucked away, nestled between a rock and a hard place, a rose between two thorns, some might say. To be fair, this house is absolutely beautiful. I cannot speak for her. And this house, when you look on the outside of it, it's like, you know what? For a start home that is built by the Sims team, She's really not bad. Like, she's kind of cute for a start home that's built by the Sims team. And then the further I went in, I was like, there is nothing that makes sense in the house. So the first thing that you walk into is a living room with white carpet. Make it make sense. And then you go through into this corridor, very long, not necessarily needed, into the main bedroom, which is absolutely huge. Objects placed in weird places and a random patch of weird floor tiles she's an she's an odd house nice view though do you know what i mean if you're laid in bed that's a nice view to look out of and then the first door is the spare bedroom which is honestly the layout of objects is still not great but it, it's better than the first bedroom and then we also have the bathroom which things are placed a little bit oddly but it's a start home do you know what i mean but that's not bad but you might be thinking where's the kitchen jessica uh well the kitchen is actually back through here through the carpet so you've got to walk through the carpet to go into the kitchen which also has a back door the back door isn't necessarily the worst part the kitchen has got no sink so realistically for your sims to be able to have a sink it's also got no dining chairs which isn't isn't that bad like you can sit on the city and it is a start home if your sim makes something and then needs to wash a pot they then need to take that pot all the way back through here to the carpeted front room that is white so the trudging and all the shit from outside and it's wind and bag so it's muddy all the way down here the long corridor again white carpets and all the way into the bathroom to then wash into that sink to then go all the way back around the white carpets i feel like i'm in a hospital with that back over here this is long back into there and one thing that annoys me the most when i'm playing games is just like time saving things making sure that things work because sometimes you've only got a couple of minutes for school and like you need to do things and and stuff like that and this just does not work and also the kitchen is a really small room compared to the living room and the living room in the sims 4 is something that you tend to only use on occasion or to double up as like a, a dining room or something like that where the kitchen your sim will use every single day and multiple times a day in order to survive do you know what i mean i don't know just the whole organization of this house it's very odd and it's very weird so today we're going to try and fix it but i'm not going to try and fix it by for example being like oh i'm going to stretch this one out this far whatever i want to try and actually work with with what we've got even to the point of having the walls in the same place the only thing i'm really going to change is the decoration of it and the doors but still keeping the shell of the house the same just to show how far change something slightly can go first off i'm just going to delete absolutely everything because i do not need you and i'm also going to delete the doors give myself a bit of a head start i'm even going to keep the windows in the same place and then i'm just going to light up everywhere because i do value being able to see my initial thing was like maybe i should move the door there and have this as a front bit that could still work because this hallway is so long and hallways are really not usable and for it to be taken up so much space it makes more sense to have a door there rather than putting the door in this room and then rendering this half of the room not necessarily unusable but then that becomes a walkway so it, it does take up emotional room some might say rather than this bit now this feels like it's a really useful space because it links to every single thing i'm going to do that and i'm going to feel proud about it excuse me don't mind me just sneaking on in there did delete the back door as well but don't think that the back door really had a problem being in that side of the room i'm going to actually pick this flooring because i prefer this flooring and i'm just going to put this flooring down the other one was too red and too aggressive and as for doorways i think it would be much more efficient maybe to have arches like that potentially I was going to maybe put an archway there. I might delete that archway in the end of it. But now she's going to be there. She's going to be the unsung hero. Although she's not going to be unsung because I'm going to be singing to her. I need to actually think about the placement of things though. I might put that there. Yeah, if I put that there, I can get rid of that archway because it's not going to take too much to go from there there. But then if I put that there, I also have space for like a fireplace, two cities. If I even keep that as a living room, I may not. Because there is so much space, I might have that as the main bedroom, that as a second bedroom, bathroom, kitchen and living room 
and then we've kind of actually got space for everything that we need. I'm happy. I'm pleased, some might say. So I'm pleased. I'm hungry is what I am, guys, actually. I'm not going to put the white carpet in. I'm just, I just can't do it to myself. All my sims, I think it'd be cruel. And for a kitchen, this is like screaming to be a breakfast nook area. And since it's a start home, we can potentially probably get away with that. Maybe I should even keep it base game because it is a start home. Not that there's not start homes in other worlds, but you just know what I mean. Like this is doable. Fridge, oven. My mum mentioned one time in a video that your fridge should never be super close to your oven. It should never be right next to it. So now I never put my fridge next to my ovens because Julia scares me. Right, already we have such a difference just simply from the being a sink in the room. Honestly, guys, it you do not know how useful a sink in a room is until you don't have one and then your sims are fucking raging all around the place trying to find the sink. I won't put move objects on. And then for a table, you could have literally any old table, guys. I might try and pick one that matches the space. So I'll just put that one. Fuck it, it'll go there. Nice little table in the breakfast nook. Maybe even... No, that won't fit. Potentially, no. I'll just put that it's even got a plant maybe not a cactus though cactus doesn't really quite fit into windenburg okay so that's that done already the kitchen feels a lot more useful let me just change the backdrop not necessarily the style of kitchen i'd go with but like it works for the build you know what i mean it looks like an old old kitchen looks it looks old guys this kitchen she's traveled right she's been places actually i really do want to keep this base game i'm gonna have to delete that right now as for settees i'm not the best builder in the world by the way so when i'm like literally this is all you have to i'm not like i'm not saying that i'm the best builder so you have to do this certain type of thing i'm just saying like such a small change can go such a huge way you know what i'm making it really dark in here i don't know this house is giving dark vibes and that's just the house's aura you know what i mean guys i can't control that's a bit too dark though yeah that goes because the, the, there's the blue there's the blue in the rug and there's the blue in the settees and then for the bedroom this is the spare one i'm going to try and keep the same type of objects that we're in and each bedroom had i might move this door so i could that in i don't know where i'm gonna put you i just know that that one is going to be put somewhere don't know where necessarily you know what even there that looks better and then the bathroom don't have enough money for chicken nuggets you know what i'll delete the one say just the one right don't have enough money for a fucking toaster toaster not a toaster uh we don't have enough money for a toilet and a sink and the last thing that we need is a window a mirror fuck it we can put that one in it kind of goes anywhere right so that is still base game that it's still base game and it's still a start at home but it looks so much better i might even just change the wallpaper really seal the deal and it's still got the exact same amount of bedrooms it's got even more space each it, like it feels so much bigger oh gg you know what guys i'm actually really proud of that i'm gonna save that to my library rustic residence small revamp no small uh rustic uh small small Renault rustic res there we go there you know what that says everything you needed to say i will connect i will i'll connect with you bab i will connect with you such a small thing for such a huge difference guys and now i think i might go in and like i'm gonna make it not base game and not start at home just because i want to see it look all pretty in its gloriousness there we go i'm gonna put that say in there do we have a small one zero player please 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 let me get what i want this time i don't think that there's gonna be a small version of that city is there there's just two big ones maybe i could just do two seats something like that they're actually like almost the perfect color that, that's actually worked out really well for me i'll even be so generous and put some curtains in nice guys that's looking quite cute little fireplace moment even you know what entertainment for your sims put a telly i don't know what to put there does it even need anything there because i might just keep it plain or i might put that lamp there borrow another one of them chairs maybe not that specific chair maybe like a footstool like a puffy and a little painting that's yeah that's quite cute i'm happy with the living room little bedroom weird placements of the windows i feel like i know what the kind of going with you know when there's a house like that and then it has a bay window like that and the windows on the side of it i like that maybe that's what they're trying to go for but yeah anyway i'm i'm still keeping on theme kind of hard to keep on theme though okay i'll just put something like that in fuck it when i was a kid i absolutely fucking hated pink and i absolutely love it now like pink and purple that is my shit but yeah it's weird how much i never used to like pink and purple like to the point where i'd be like no i don't I absolutely get, put that thing back where i came from or so help me quite literally yeah and now i'm like i fucking love it guys but i did have quite a couple of room themes as a kid i had uh space i had space skittle and i actually i can only think of space i'm sure i had more though but i think space i had space right guys i think we've established that i've had space yeah i definitely had a space themed room but i can't remember any of the others but also i was the youngest child so most of the rooms that i got were just kind of inherited so i just kind of made it like whatever room was in previous to mine work like i had a a blue room that i enjoyed because my brother's room before he went to the navy was blue oh my god new plumbella law just dropped my brother was in the navy guys okay that'll do oh <gasps> 
Oh, God, I did love my space room, though. I think my space room was probably the favourite room that I've had. This is a little bit eclectic, this room. Love that for them. If I put BB.move objects on, a lot of things would just place a lot nicer, but I don't just want to, you know, hide behind BB.move objects. I want to keep it actually realistic. Like some of that could potentially, if given the opportunity, ship in base gear uh, in uh, with a new pack, you know? Oh, my God. Fucking PC is doing this thing again. Don't worry, guys. It's just crashing a little bit, but she will be all right in a minute. She just crashes sometimes. I just cry sometimes. It's no big deal. I'm having a great time. I feel like I've slowly lost the concept th throughout the entire build, actually. I started off really strong with the concept of like, yeah, this is an old place with old things in its place. Like the living room is your nan could potentially read a book. you know what I mean? And then the kids room clearly ignited something in me because from then on, we just steadily got more and more modern. I think it's great. I I mean, if I do say so, my fucking self, Jesus, Jessica. But yeah, I, you know what? I really enjoyed this build. I'm going to put this one on the gallery as well. Medium Renault Rustic Res. Still two bedrooms, still one bathroom, but now it costs 30 grand instead of a start home. So yeah, a bit of a short video, but uh, it's really interesting to see how much like just a small change or a big change you know guys probably just changed the shape and layout of a house and that layout was it left a lot to the imagination guys and i still like that bit as a front hidden out bit so yeah that is everything that i have for you today i love you all so so much and i will see you in the next one bye bitch